Welcome to another video. Today I am going to tell you the mysteries and the wonder of the pump spray bottle and how I use this in van life. Um, I get I jest, but seriously, this thing is one of the most important tools that I have in my van. So stick around and I'm going to tell you some of the great things that this is used for and why you might like one in your van life. Hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Coralie. This is my channel, Jump With No Fear, and this is the van that I travel in. Today, I am going to tell you about this magical thing that I have in my van. <laughs> it's actually just a simple pump spray bottle, but this thing I use for so many things in my van. It is one of the most valuable tools that I have in here, and I use it for a whole bunch of things. And one of the big reasons I use this is because it saves me a whole lot of water. I'm gonna show you what I use it for and how it can save you water as well. Okay, one of the first things I use this for is for washing my dishes. I've touched on that in some videos previously. And uh, here is one of my dishes. And um, basically, you can use this pump spray bottle to avoid using a large tub or a large bowl of water to wash your dishes. And this will perhaps even save you having to find a place to dump your grey water because we were making almost no grey water at all. So when I have a plate and it's been left out for a bit long and it might have some food stuck to it, let's just pump this up. Now, I put this on the fine spray for this job. So all I do, a quick spray on my dish, you can see there's a bit of water on there. Uh, it's hardly enough to even drip. And then I will wipe it with either a cloth or a paper towel. If you want to save yourself some dishes, then the paper towel will mean that you can keep this until you find a bin later. And if you soak your dishes like that with just a fine spray of water, most times you'll find you don't even need soap on them. But if you do need a little bit of soap, use something like Co, which I've made a video about before, or um, use some vinegar or something like that, and that will help to get the grease off where you don't need to rinse it off like you do with dish soap. Now the soft spray is great for a lot of stuff, but sometimes you will need the hard spray, like the stream. So after you have sprayed this with a soft spray to let it soak for a little while, uh, you'll leave that sit couple of minutes is usually enough and then you'll use the hard spray and you want to give it a really good pump and make sure it's solid for that um, like solidly full of air and then you will use that sharp spray and you will spray your dishes with that sharp spray and it'll get all that chunky stuff off and uh, you won't have to soak your dishes in a bowl of water and you won't be using a whole bowl or tub of water to wash your dishes again saving you water another thing that your sharp or hard spray can work for with your pump spray bottle is if you have awkward little corners to get into so for example with my blender sometimes I'll blend things like nuts and um, little seeds and things that that get in here and it's a bit hard to get all the things out when they're sort of shoved in funny little corners and things but if you use the sharp spray on your pump spray bottle you can get into all those little corners like the edges of the lid and into the bottom and if you've got things gathering underneath the uh, little rubbery gasket as well, it also helps to get rid of all that under the gasket. If you've been enjoying this video, I would love it if you would give it a like, help other people see it, and if you haven't subscribed yet, do so and hit the little bell thingy. Another thing to use your pump spray for is for washing yourself. If I put this on a very soft spray, I can actually use this to wash myself. So I would lightly spray my body and maybe my face it's really hot today, so it's actually nice. So I can wet my body a little bit and then use a cloth. This is a body microfiber cloth. You can use whatever cloth you prefer. And there's your sponge wash. Obviously, you can do your whole body that way. Another way for your body that you can use your pump spray is if you need to cool down. So if you're lying around in bed and it's really hot, you give yourself a light spray and you use evaporative cooling to help you cool down when it's hot and that's really nice. <laughs> and when it's a light spray, it's enough so that if you do get your bedding a little bit wet, it dries pretty quickly. And you can also spray your sheet over the top of yourself if you want to use that to help you keep a bit cooler. And one of the final ways that I use my beloved palm spray bottle is to wet cloths and things without needing, again, a big dish or a bowl of water. Um, all I need to do is, I can use the hard spray or the soft spray, but generally I use the soft spray and I'll give it a little gentle spray like that and squeeze it through another gentle spray and I can just keep spraying that gently 
until it's exactly as wet as I need it to be. So I can make that just damp if I want or I can make it a bit more wet if I'm cleaning dishes because I use microfiber to clean my dishes as well. So that will make it just the right amount of damp without dripping everywhere as well. So that is all about my pump spray bottle and how useful it is in van life. I swear this thing I would use multiple times a day when I'm in my van. It's so convenient, it is so handy, it is useful for so many different things. So if you don't have a pump spray bottle in your van, I suggest try and chase one down and you'll find so many uses for it. I hope that was useful for you. Thank you very much for watching to the end. Thank you to my wonderful patrons for all your amazing support and wonderful messages and all of the sort of things that you send. And uh, if you're watching and you have any other great ideas for where you would use a pump spray bottle or um, other really, really handy things that you have in your van that you wouldn't do without love to hear about it in the comments a lot of other people might look in the comments as well and also get some excellent ideas from you thank you very much for watching i'll see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and hit the thumbs up and if you enjoyed that video you might also find this other one useful which is how i use co in van life which is partly how i wash my dishes and the other video which goes into more detail where i touched on here about how i use this which is how i wash dishes without creating any gray water it's one of my older ones so excuse the quality <laughs> And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.